people always tell me that I'm calm now. And that's only because I started to connect to God. In the midst of my healing, I always say this like, yeah, I've been to therapy. I've done a lot of personal development to the point where now I work on myself like literally every day. It's not a day where I don't, you know, watch some video or um, think of something that I feel like I need to work on. It's low key an addiction, but I feel like it's a good addiction. You feel what I'm saying? But people always ask me like, how are you so calm and stuff like that? When I'm not always calm, but I calm down a lot from how I used to be. Um, Cause I used to be just worried all the time. But as I align with God, I realized what is there to worry about? As I became self-aware, I realized a lot of the things that I was worrying about really holds no weight. You know what I'm saying? Um, but I want to share this Bible scripture right here. Philippians 4, 6 through 7. Don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God what you need and thank him for all he has done. Then you will experience God's peace, which exceeds anything we can understand. His peace will guard your hearts and minds as you live in Christ Jesus. So a lot of people was asking me too, like, how are you so joyful out there when I was like homeless or whatever? And I was getting on uh, on live or whatever. And people was asking me, like, how are you so, you know, you seem so positive and stuff like that. And and it was because I separated from so many people around me who were kind of adding to the fact that I wasn't calm. Although you got to control yourself. But when you're around, you know, some people that are like highly manipulative, it's best for you to remove yourself um, rather than trying to just, you know, bounce around their um ways of being because then they can make you consistently walk on eggshells and that's not healthy you know what i'm saying um but i used to be worried 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 all the time and then people were like well how are you so happy and you're going through so much stuff you homeless and stuff like that and it was truly because i had god my whole life i was depressed i was worried i was frustrated and when i connected to god it was like at first i was sleeping in my car before you know i end up selling my car but i was sleeping in my car and I'm just like, wow, I just had realized that, you know, I had to separate from family and stuff like that. And I'm like, wow, like this is crazy. The personal development wasn't really enough. But soon as I started to read Bible scriptures, it just filled me up to the point where I was like, all those years, this is what I needed the whole time. And like I said, I always talk about the materialistic items and chasing your dreams and, you know, Whatever the case may be, getting the things that you want in your life. It's not the fact that I'm against any of that. You feel what I'm saying? Because we're still human beings. It's just the fact that I want people to understand, bro, that I was this little boy that was so anxiety filled, so worried. I was not calm. I was so reactive. I was I was going through a lot of situations. I was being abused in my family system and stuff like that. So it made me into a certain individual where I felt like, what's the point of being here sometimes? You feel what I'm saying? And the whole time I was trying so many different vices to 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 um get out of the midst of that pain. And the whole time, all I needed was God. So if you feel that way, if you feel low, if you feel down, if you feel frustrated, if you've been abused in your past, if you've been surrounded by people that were toxic or narcissists or, you know, people that walk with the devil or whatever the case may be. I truly encourage you to align with God. Now, you have to separate from these people and stuff. God is not going to fix certain things on the worldly realm in regards to that. You still have to go no contact. You still have to separate from certain people. You still have to align yourself with the right people. But at the end of the day, all you need is God. Hey, all you need is God. I'm trying to tell you it's your boy Josh Different. I'm different. You different. We different. I'm out. Woo.